Welcome to your wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart, and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with straight razor, you're getting a better shave. In this shave, I am using my Tier Isar Bison. Yeah, this is a beautiful French razor. That is 7 8 and it is a full hollow. Really good stuff. Enjoy this one a lot. Yeah, I do. Now for my soap tonight. Here we go. Pré du Provence. This is also a French scent, and it is marvelous. This is absolutely fantastic. I have had that puck blooming and this is a really hard like triple milled puck and it is like awesome it really is mm -hmm. so let's get that on fantastic scent on this one really enjoy it Go ahead and just massage that into those whiskers, letting it work. It's magic. Yeah. All right. Now, see if I can get those hands cleaned off. All right. Now, here we go for my brush tonight. There you go. That is the Connecticut quarter brush. I made this brush and that is a 22 millimeter maggot razor synthetic knot. Yep. And I sunk it pretty deep in the handle. So this has got some nice backbone and it is super soft. It really is. Let's go ahead and get that loaded up. All right, so we made it to the midweek shave, the wonderful Wednesday shave of the day, hump day. Yep, hopefully you are in high spirits. The world's treating you good, yeah? And you're getting some good shaves, oh yeah. Hopefully you are healthy and the weather's good where you are too, yeah. Here, we're getting some nice weather, yeah we are really unseasonably nice actually but I will take it mm-hmm yep definitely I will definitely take it yeah so hopefully you are enjoying the straight razor edge Friday specials yeah doing a series on how to start straight razor shaving got another one coming this Friday we are gonna be talking about strops again, yep. But, a little more hands-on this time, yep. All right, so hopefully that is good. Now, I'm gonna stop there, I'm gonna clean up around the outside of this puck and see how shallow <laughs> that is. It really is uh, quite shallow and There is almost no place for that to go. Here we go. Except outside of the bowl. So we're going to give that a shot right there. And I'm going to just work this in a little bit. Yeah. Always trying to prep those whiskers for a good shave. All right. Now, here we go. I am using my Crown King Travel Scuttle. That still has hot water in it, and it's gonna be a nice warm lather shave. Now, what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna get that worked into that brush better than it was originally just so we can get a good shave. There we go. There you go, nice. Yep, so let's go ahead, get that lather on. Yeah, oh nice. Yep. 
Yeah, and these synthetic brushes, man, they they really do a good job. You know, I I do like this one, not only because I made it, but because I've got that knot sunk in that handle really good. So it's got some backbone. It's just it's not all flop. Yeah. So that's nice. Even though you could work with a floppy brush. You could. But I just as soon have just a little more backbone so I can face lather. Mm -hmm. That's what I like to do. I like working those whiskers with that brush. You don't really have to scrub them or anything, but I just like working that soap in. That's nice. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now, get those hands rinsed off and dried off. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Okay, here we go. This is pass one. And for me, primarily, that's going to be with the grain. Let's do this. Yeah, so how you start is you lay that razor flat and then raise it about a spine width and that will give you that approximate 20 to 30 degree shaving angle that we're looking for. Yeah, and that works really well. And always come in, if you can, with a shallow angle. Now under that nose you can't, so you're going to scoop down. Yep. Now on that chin area, that even up in here, that was pretty much completely flat. It was. And that's what works the best for me. And I rotate that uh, razor around that chin, trying to keep it flat. Mm-hmm. There we go. Nice. Now we're going to switch hands. I'm going to get this other side. And again, we lay that razor flat and then raise it about a spine width like that.
And what you're doing there is with your off hand, you can stretch, all right? Don't overstretch, but you still do need to stretch. especially us older gentlemen and uh, you know we got a little more skin and moves around more yeah there you go Pass one complete, and it felt good. It did. Now, we're gonna get that rinsed off. Oh, and this is nice slick soap. Triple milled, really hard. I like that. I do. There we go. Now, here we go. We are gonna get our lather on. Yep. Oh, nice warm lather. Very nice. Get a little more water in that. Yeah, I'm just dipping those bristles down in the sink. Mm -hmm. And it works great. You don't want to put in too much water any given time, but you could definitely hydrate that soap really well. That's going to be good when you're shaving. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> and you don't need soap where you're not shaving. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna put just a bit more water in that. Yeah. Starting to go everywhere now. <laughs> so when I'm making a mess like that, I definitely know we got enough water in there. And that is good. Yeah, buddy. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now, all right, this is pass two. And primarily, for me, this is going to be against the grain. I hold the razor like this. And let's do it. There we go. Nice. Yep.
Very good. All right, let's find that bump. Very nice. Hmm. All right, switching up that handle like that now. And rotating back. All right, nice. Okay. Here again, I am <laughs> switching that handle up and my nose is itching. <laughs> oh my goodness. I tell you, find those two bumps. <laughs> Nice. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Switching hands again. Nice. Pass two complete. Yep. Feeling good. Yeah, it is. All right, let's get that rinsed off. See how those cheeks are. Oh, wow. Oh, fantastic. Cheeks are brilliant. Right where they are. Yeah, oh, nice. All right. Now, let's get our lather on. Yep. Now, what we're doing here is going to be against the grain, primarily on my jawline and my neck. Mm -hmm. And for me, this works really well. My cheeks are all set, okay? So I don't need a full three passes to get a great shave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let me encourage you to find out how many passes does it really take for you to get a good shave? Yep. All right, here we go. Time for the half pass. Yep, reach around, grab that ear to stretch.
Now reach down and grab that jawline to stretch even further down. There we go. Nice. Now we're switching hands. I'm going to grab that ear again. Then grab that jawline. There we go. Nice. All right, another shave in the books. And I think it's a good one. I do. All right, let's get that cleaned off. See how we did. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, buddy. That's good. Mm-hmm. All right, and no bumps were harmed in the filming of this shave video. We're still going alum everywhere. It is my practice. It will... Take care of those little bumps when you hit them and it'll tighten that skin. Close those pores. Very, very nice. All right, there we go. Now, I will take this little towel and just dry that off. It's about half dry now anyway, and that's good. All right. Now, if you can't take it home straight up, go with the cold water rinse followed by witch hazel. And in my case, I'm going with the Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel. This is just fantastic. Got a great scent and I enjoy it. I do. Mmm, <laughs> so good. And I am going to put that everywhere. I am. Yep. That works. It does. Next up, here we go. I'm going Nivea, and this is the Sensitive Poche Bomb. This is fantastic, and it has got a nice hydrating property to it, getting that moisture back in the skin. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Very nice. And we are going to follow that with Stetson Cooling and Moisturizing Aftershave. This stuff is fantastic. And I think it goes pretty well with the soap as well. So that's nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to watch the How To Start Straight Razor Shaving Series from the beginning. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.